What's up you guys, it's Connor, and today I'm going to be doing a book review for All Those Explosions Were Someone Else's Fault by James Allen Gardner. This is a science fiction superhero story that doesn't take itself too seriously at all. It follows a third generation Chinese Canadian that is genderqueer and she mostly goes by she, her pronouns, so I'm going to be calling her she and her throughout this review. But at the beginning of the book, her and her roommates are caught up in this scientific accident and then they find out that they have superpowers and then it's them trying to save the world from this mad scientist. And as I said before, this doesn't take itself too seriously, so it has a lot of jokes and commentary on how ridiculous superpowers are in stories and how there are no set limits on superpower capabilities and everything like that. It pokes fun of the genre while also being inside of the genre. Anyway, in this world there are the Darklings who have basically taken over the world and they run pretty much everything. They are the elite class in this world. And then there are the Sparks which are the superheroes of this world. So it's the Dark versus the Sparks. They are always in battle against each other trying to protect the Earth or you know, take over the earth. As usual with my book reviews, I'm going to go through my pros, go through my cons, give you my rating, and be done. My first pro for this book was that it was just a very funny book. I had a really good time while reading it. When I picked this up, I was thinking to myself that I really wanted something quick, fun, wasn't going to be too draining on me emotionally. Basically, I didn't want anything serious, and this definitely delivered on that. The characters' interactions with each other are so funny, and the way that the main character, Kim, thinks about everything, thinks about herself, and thinks about these superpowers was just so funny and I really enjoyed reading about Kim as a character, as well as Kim's past, as well as their present, when they're trying to save the world and everything like that. One thing that happens at the very beginning is that they're not called superheroes, they're called Sparks because superhero was copyrighted, so they can't actually use that word. And as I said, the abilities that these people have, as well as the flexibility to change the abilities to whatever they need them to be, was so funny because that's exactly how comic books are. Comic book superheroes basically get like a seed of a superpower and then they can change their powers for whatever they want it to be. Did I just scratch myself in the face? <laughs> Ignore that. I also really liked that the main character was genderqueer and didn't know whether they wanted to be perceived as female or male or either or both. And seeing that inner monologue of Kim where she goes through her past and how she's had a few different names of reinventing herself to get to the current Kim. Her superhero form is definitely reflective of her genderqueer identity and no one knows what her superhero persona is if it's male or female or either or both no one knows and so the superhero version of her is just called they i always just like seeing that representation in books and it was fun to see it in one that the book wasn't a serious book it was a big part of kim but it wasn't a big part of the story if that makes sense i also really like that there are some nerdy cool science things in here there's a lot of talk about geology and different types of rocks and everything like that because kim is is a graduate student, I believe, that studies rocks, a geologist. And so seeing all those scientific terms in this very humorous book was also just such a funny juxtaposition because a lot of people take those jobs very seriously, but then it being funny was a great time. I mentioned before that they were coming up with their Sparks costumes, and I just loved seeing which characters picked which things for their costumes, how they came up with them, the... <laughs> The whole concept of the superhero costume and how absurd it is that people wouldn't recognize who they are even if they just put on some glasses. So seeing the four of them go through picking different names and picking their costumes, figuring out what their powers are and just everything like that was so fun. Them being pitted up against a mad genius who's a part of the dark and the different dark beings that there were, learning about all of their powers as well. Everything about it was just a really fun time. And my last pro that I'm going to talk about is that this this book is just so quick. Because it's basically a superhero science fiction novel, the plot moves along pretty quickly and there's always action scenes and the title of the book is very um, re relevant because there are tons and tons of explosions in this book and it just keeps you on your feet the entire time. And being able to get through this book rather quickly was a good thing for me because I am in graduate school so I don't have a ton of time to just sit down and read through a book. But this one was so entertaining and so quick that I didn't fall behind or anything in any schoolwork or anything while reading this. And lastly, the world building was just very interesting, how the world was set up where the dark had already taken over the world, and the sparks are just these little sparks here and there that are protecting little hubs of space. I thought that was really interesting, and if this is a series, I'm not exactly sure on if it is or not. I'll be interested to see how the world changes as the books go along, because 
the sparks have certain rules, I guess, a, a structure, if you will, and it'll be interesting to see if he has the main character break those rules to change the world, stuff like that. Now I'm gonna talk about some of my cons. I keep talking about how this book is really humorous, and it is, but it took a while to get to that point. For the first 200-ish pages, I didn't feel like the book really knew which direction it wanted to go. At first, I thought the book was gonna be pretty serious because it deals with her being really upset because she has recently gone through a breakup and she's just really down. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be really, really serious and I was worried <laughs> because I thought it was gonna be funny. And then later on, once they have their origin story and everything like that, it starts to get a lot funnier and I was enjoying myself a lot more. So it took a little while to get to the funny parts, but once I was there, it was good. And my only other con that I could think of was that it is very straightforward. There is one path that this book goes on and there's not a whole lot going on besides that. I think that the way that this world is set up, there's a lot more that the author can explore and there's a lot more concepts that the author could dive into if he wanted to. So if it is a series, he will be able to go into those things, but I think that he could have kind of dipped his toe into some of those other things in this book and added another layer to the story but that was a small one. In the end, I ended up giving this book four stars. I really, really enjoyed it. I definitely recommend it for people that find superhero stories entertaining, but also absurd. If you're in the mood for a lighter read that's not gonna bog you down, and it's not gonna feel heavy, it's just a quick, fun adventure, I definitely think that you'll enjoy this, and yeah gave it four stars. So that's gonna be my review on All Those Explosions Were Someone Else's Fault by James Allen Gardner. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you've read this book. Are you interested in reading it now? What are some of your favorite superhero novels that you've read? Leave any recommendations you have down in the comments and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.